Hi there. When you work on a Linux terminal, sometimes you might encounter a peculiar problem. You might be typing something. Maybe you're typing a lot of commands and you're using a lot of shortcuts, right? You can be using some shortcuts and commands, but as you type and try to use some controlled shortcuts and you are used a magic key combination and you don't know what happened and all of a sudden what you type is not visible. Your terminal might look frozen completely and you don't know what's going on. Type something. I'm not sure if you're able to hear the noise of the keyboard. I'm actually typing on the keyboard, but you see my screen seems to be completely stuck. I, get, I press enter, I type something else, press enter, type something else, press enter. The screen stuck. I say control C, nothing works. And this looks like a terminal totally frozen and I normally try to close the terminal. But the next time you do this, try this. If your terminal seems stuck because of some key combination you type and you're not aware what happened, just try control Q. And when you type control Q, you want everything that you type will be shown up here. Let's see this. So whatever I typed was actually taken in and the commands were executed. In this, I think all these junk characters are typed shows up as command not found. So what exactly was the key combination? In most terminals, when you're typing something, if you accidentally press control S, control S stands for scroll lock. This locks the entire screen, right? I mean, your terminal is locked, but your, but the terminal still is functioning, just that it's not echoing whatever is going on. So if you are typing some commands, the commands will run. Like I can show you, I can just say um, control L, I can say control U, then I could type a command called date, press enter, and I'm going to type uh, uptime. I'm blind typing, okay? Uptime. So now these commands are shown here. I, but the commands, I'm just uttering out what commands I'm typing. I type date, I type uptime. Uh, let me type, uh, you know, who am I? Maybe I, but I misspelled it, we don't know. We'll know for sure. But when you say control Q, you can see all these commands. I think I misspelled who am I. You can see that it became W, it, I, I think it, uh, that A and O got misspelled. It doesn't matter. The point, that's what happens when you blind type. Sometimes if you're not a very good touch typing person. Um, so you can see that the commands get executed. Now, why is this feature there? This was existing for legacy reasons. In older Unix terminals, the full screen terminals, the scroll lock was used to control scrolling when you have a lot of output coming up on the screen. So in early days of Unix, when you run some commands that happens to scroll out a lot of data, instead of if you forgot to pipe it to a pager, like less or more on, you know, more command in those days, you can actually say control S to freeze the screen and say control Q to go forward. I'm going to demonstrate that here, though modern machines are super fast, so it's very difficult. It's not really useful, right? So we just say LS. I'm going to try to run some command that um, prints contents recursively. I'll say LS minus LR, use a local SRC. I'm going to run this. You can see it sort of scrolls fast. I say control S is frozen. The command is executing, but I'm controlling the output. So the output is now frozen. I say control Q, control S, control Q, control S. It came out very quickly. You can see that. So if you're all, uh, you had older, older Unix machines, older machines, the scroll was not as fast like you see here at this point, right? So today you can see that when you run these commands, the scroll out too fast. It's too fast here. In early days, it was not this fast. You will see the screen scrolling in a very slow cycles. And when that happens, you can actually control it by using Control S and Control Q. Let me tell you, uh, if you have an extended keyboard, which is becoming quite a rarity these days, considering many of you might be using laptops, many of us would be using laptops, but you have full scale keyboard, the 101 keys or 103 keys or 104 keys keyboard, the PC class keyboard, on the rightmost top corner, uh, just above the home page up, page down keys, you will find print screen, a separate key called print screen, followed by that you'll find scroll lock, and then you have a pause break key. Many of us are not aware what the scroll lock is meant for. We never used it, didn't we? We never used it in Windows, right? This key was actually meant to control the same flow, the terminal flow. So I can actually run the same command again. Instead of using control S this time, I can press a scroll lock. Oh, it doesn't work, I think. I think I disabled it, I disabled it. So if it's, if it's enabled, you can actually control the scroll lock by pressing the scroll lock once and pressing the scroll lock one more time. Let me try again. Maybe you can see this, right? So you can control the scroll lock by using this technique. But uh, on Unix environments, many Unix-based terminals allow you to control it using Control-S. 
To be honest, I don't find this very useful and sometimes it can be annoying because accidentally when you when you type something on Bash shell, especially to go to the beginning of the line, you will say Control A. So if you're not a person like if you're a person like me who sometimes switch keyboards and your touch typing <laughs> rules go go, then instead of pressing Control A, you might end up pressing Control S and your screen seems stuck and you don't know what happened, right? How do you disable this feature? In order to disable this, you could actually try this out. Uh, you might want to put this in your bash profile, right? You can add this in a bash profile. Uh, in a shell profile, it is. You could actually use a command called STTY minus IXOM. You disable this. There's something called X on and X off. You can turn it on and turn it off. Just scroll on and scroll off, right? So if you turn this off, now Control S will put Control S character here. So Control S will no longer freeze your terminal. This can be set up in a couple of terminal settings. I've seen a couple of terminals have a terminal settings which lets you change this in the terminal settings. If it's there, enable them. But if your terminal does not have such a setting or you find it cumbersome to go and change it in your terminal settings, you can put it in your shell profile. You can add this command to turn off this Control S and Control Q behavior. But if you want to turn this back on, maybe you need it. You can always say STTY IXON. Now this will switch back to the scenario where see Control S freezes the screen, nothing happens. Control Q will show it back, right? So this is something that you should know about if you're working on Linux. So next time you see a terminal frozen, just try Control Q before giving up and see if it works, right? I hope you find this video useful. If you do find it useful, do please do comment. To, so that I can make more future videos in the same way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hope to meet you in the future videos.